thought we were on the right track, but we have completely lost our way. Y'all, what in the world are we doing in Italy? Hot damn! We're gonna be lost forever <laughs> in this cycle of manic and disillusionment. Exactly, and I ain't never heard of no hip hop Italian rapper. Well, I believe rappers are everywhere. And I think I got it. Do y'all remember when we studied the Italian Renaissance in Mr. Bonk's class? Yeah. Yo, I remember the class, but I don't remember nothing about the material. I mean, I'm not making a connection. It seems that we're going back in time. Yeah, and time is fluid. So in order to go forward, we have to go back. Man, that's about the stupidest shit I ever heard. Shut up, no, it's serious. <laughs> Look. This might be crazy, but it's like I've seen all of this before. Like I'm having deja vu or something. My grandmother always said, if you're experiencing deja vu, it's probably because you're on the right track. All right, well, don't judge me, because it's kind of silly, but I had a dream that we was doing hip hop in Italy. Wait, what? <laughs> I'm for real, don't lie, I had a dream that- Connection, we please, Miss Psychic Wonder. Okay, well, when you think about the Renaissance, what you think about? Change, a new cultural movement, no matter where you at in the world, like rebirth. Well, hip hop is all of that. A change, a culture movement, exactly. the rebirth of something that's already been born. Hey, you sound like the African griot. We ain't gonna joke when it comes to the African griot, man, but. Hey, y'all, look. It says Florence. Exactly, that's exactly where it all began. Y'all remember in history class we learned about the Medici family? Yeah. They basically built up the Italian fantasy. I remember them. After all, I was to start a class. <laughs> So what did you learn from the class then? Stop. <laughs> Something about the perspective concept. Y'all know the vanishing point on the backdrop creating the illusion of distance? Exactly, and Torelli created the evolving stage and a new way to create scenery. Y'all, the Italians taught us basically everything we know about improvisation through, um, Comedia dell'arte. Dell exactly. Y'all, they taught us everything we know about improvising. Y'all know we did the script and it was all improvised? Remember that? Yeah. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Connection, please, to Quita and Ayala. I mean, I'm not making the connection. Help me connect hip hop and theater. Shut up. What I'm trying to say, stupid, is that maybe theater is an ingenious way to, to showcase hip hop. Ingenious? Si. Posa essere molte cose, mono sono mai stato muto. What I'm trying to say is, I may be a lot of things, but I ain't never been dumb. Dummy. Whatever, you just like making up your own language. I got you. And I see you still can't fix ignorance. Hey y'all, check out all these paintings. <laughs> Nigga, I'll bet you my last five dollars you came in one Italian painting. Oh, oh sounds like, like a bet. Michelangelo, what's up? Oh, oh five dollars. Hell no, nah, hell no. Nah. Check it. Look, I got somebody for you. Right. He wasn't a painter, but he was cool back in Italy. Machiavelli. Tupac right. taught me that. He also read Machiavelli's book, The Prince. Y'all remember Machiavelli. Columinati, all through your body, blows like a 12 gauge shoddy. Y'all, he was all about knowledge and power. So that's like, hip hop is a renaissance in itself. It's a movement in itself. <laughs> you absolutely right. The voices of the young urban African Americans speaking out against their world and what they label as rap, and speaking up for who they are. The gathering, similar to their ancestors, is a refuge speaking out against their hostile world. Their languages is coded, speaking their words on their own. Like their vocals and their spoken words was passion, victory, defeat, pain, sorrow, death, and life. So why do they call you the father of hip hop, if you don't mind me asking? See, my rap style was more like freelance talking, not necessarily rhyming to a syncopated beat. Then I came up with chants like this. Yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop. Until the beat, y'all, and you don't stop. Yes, yes, y'all, and you don't stop. Until the beat, y'all, and you don't stop. Like hot butter to the popcorn. That's what we do in Jamaica. We had the manual dubbing that isolates specific instrumentals, like the bass, the guitar, pianos, and the vocals. We had it all. It was important, just like sampling. Sampling was making abstract patterns and beats. That invoked the dance. Just like African drums to the music. Well, what about African bombada then? Right. African bombada, the grandfather of hip hop. Oh. He solidified hip hop with his electro funk. He could sample any beat from James Brown, Sly Family Stone, Sweet George Brown. He even sampled Andy Griffin and the Pink Panther. It was like the old mixing with the new. The, the Renaissance. Renaissance. The Renaissance.
renaissance. Exactly. Pretty soon we had thousands of kids dancing in the street, mastering rap battles. Grandmaster Flash, one of the greatest DJs of all time, started scratching and backspinning, and it was on. Scratching and backspinning is the most important element of rap. But I'm putting you too far ahead of your time. Continue on your journey. So the stories were about joy, pain, sorrow, death, and life. Comes and goes, but I'm hoping it'll end. 